are happening at the school level with kids, linking kids to entrepreneurs in tech areas. So tell us, tell us about that experience and how it's shaped your thinking about what you're hearing today in relation to the potential for tech schools. Well, I think because it really uh, reinforced the idea that if we're to be competitive as uh, the Jitsu is a company in Australia, then we simply have to have some of the best young people in the world working with us here. So we don't need to ask for much, just for everything. <laughs> we need for those young workers to have um, four uh, types of intelligence um, that we've all heard speak and spoken about. Uh, the raw kind of cognitive intelligence, with smart in particular subject matter areas, but then that entrepreneurial uh, savvy to go with it, the kind of emotional intelligence that makes these young people connectors and communicators, the creative intelligence that means they can make stuff, they can imagine stuff, and they can work uh, beyond just technology alone, and the, uh, the kind of what's almost like a spiritual intelligence. We want those young uh, kids to be able to know who they are, understand their passion, that hopefully the tech schools may have helped them to discover through the time there mm -hmm. and ultimately come into a place like our company or any other with a clear sense of a passion and purpose, not just to um, take a paycheck home or, or help make a profit. So 